draw the curtain, nurse, and fetch the smelling salts, the patients are feeling faint. On Pep Guardiola and Maurizio Sarri's notes at the bottom of the bed, it says the last time Chelsea and Manchester City met in a Wembley final they had both played top-flight games 24 hours earlier. City have just recovered from 2-0 down at Old Trafford to earn a point in the Manchester Derby, and their team bus was pelted with pies as they set off for the Twin Towers straight afterwards, while Chelsea had chiseled out a 1-0 win at Southampton. And each manager made only one change to his starting lineup at Wembley the next day. Oh, and this is what the Premier League could look like post-Brexit when we close the borders, including subs, the two squads featured 19 Englishmen, 6 Scots and an Irishman from Barnsley. No cheating foreigners. Fetch matron, nurse, the patients are delirious. They don't believe it. For managers who use rest and rotation as lame duck excuses, or pampered players who struggle to play twice in a week, let alone two games in a weekend, the 1986 Full Members Cup final was pure heresy. The full what? Royally shunned by fans until 67,236 turned up to see Chelsea edge home 5-4, with David Speedy scoring the first hat-trick in a Wembley final since Jeff Hurst 20 years earlier, the competition was invented to fill the gaps left by English clubs banned from Europe. If there are another nine goals tomorrow, pessimists among the contingent from SW6 fear most of them will be at one end. But for Chelsea manager John Hollins, the showpiece 32 years ago confirmed his long-held suspicion that rotation was for tumble dryers or rotisserie chickens. Yes, we had played a competitive game on the Saturday, and there might have been a few stiff legs on the Sunday morning, but it never crossed my mind to make unforced changes," he said. For me, that weekend was proof that when players want to play and want to win, they don't want to be injured. Especially when it's a Wembley final. It wasn't the Mickey Mouse Cup, as some people were inclined to call it, and it wasn't a day out at Disneyland. It was a proper game of football, and we got to lift the cup. I might have let the boys have one beer if they wished the night before, but I remember telling them, We're going to Wembley, I want to win, and so do you, because some of us might not get another chance. Speedy was a real handful, always nibbling at centre-backs, and if they annoyed him, it was like poking a wasp's nest. He could swarm all over them. For City goalkeeper Eric Nixon, the doubleheader was a surreal experience. Before the year was out, he would create history by playing on loan at clubs in all four divisions of the Football League in the same season – Wolves, Bradford, Southampton, and Carlisle. But Nixon recalls, as a Manchester lad, it was my dream to play for City in the Derby against United and in a Wembley final, you just don't expect to do both in the same weekend. We must have been tired after the game at Old Trafford, 
because the lads had run their socks off to come back from 2-0 down to get a point, but we gave ourselves a mountain to climb when we found ourselves 5-1 down at Wembley the next day. To be honest, we were upset that we never really gave ourselves a chance. Three goals in the last five minutes after Paul Simpson came off the bench made it interesting, but the game finished too early for us. For a lad who had stopped off on the way home from his day job of cleaning and polishing cars and walked in through the front door at Main Road to ask Manchester City for a trial three years earlier, I was living the dream. Hollands, now 72, made a record 714 appearances in the top flight for Chelsea, QPR and Arsenal. He struggles to reconcile the modern football and the game he played with such cheerful exuberance. When I watch football now, I don't see many happy people," he lamented. They look miserable, which begs the question, if all that money doesn't make you happy, what are you playing the game for? Get Man City latest news updates directly to your inbox subscribe thank you for subscribing.